Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John and this is Satisfactory. Now we are standing on our um, iron plate production line. I will grab some more of those. Uh, I have just noticed that over there is something that appears to be a wreck so we may have to go and check that out in a minute. Um, if I try and bounce over here without falling. Um, I failed, never mind. Uh, you can see that I have put in some more biomass burners. So we now have uh, four there, plus the two on the back of the hub. Uh, and that is because... I have put in some production over here on our second um, iron node. So it's a pure node, so we have 120 a minute coming out. Uh, much the same as we've got over here. Um, out into a splitter, into a splitter again, and out into four smelters. So we're at 100% uh, efficiency on those, technically. Well, we should be if it was... We'll get to that. Uh, then we come back and combine it again. All into one um, conveyor belt, which is a Mark II belt. So it can carry uh, 120 a minute. And then upstairs. Comes out into a splitter. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So it comes out into a splitter. Into a splitter. Half of that goes upstairs, half of it goes this way. And here we have four constructors. Uh, we've got the same on that side as well. Into a splitter, into a splitter, and upstairs. So we have four constructors here, all making iron rods. And I'll grab some more of those. And upstairs, where these conveyor lifts lead, we have another four. Or we would have if this was working. Why is this one not working? Oops, I haven't connected this up. There we go. That'll be why. There we go. So we have eight constructors all making iron rods. Uh, and my plan is to take a bunch of these off to make... Um, to combine with some of the... If I bounce over. Some of the iron... Oops. Some of the iron plates... Uh, being made down here to make reinforced iron plates. Uh, but I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. Probably over there closer to the hub. That seems like the best place to do it. Uh, so feed both off this way. Hmm. Or is it going to be better to come out this way into this unused space? Or do I want to take everything into a central storage unit that we failed to do last time? But get that started straight away. That might be a better idea. And then I can feed off from that storage unit to where I need to go. Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. But this episode, uh, I want to get the copper set up, which is, I think it's down there. Underneath that big blobby thing. Uh, I think that's where our iron is. Uh, iron. It's where our copper is. So that's what we want to get set up this episode. Um, I also want to open, uh, unlock the next hub upgrade. Uh, which I've set for obstacle clearing so we can get a lot more fuel coming in. Clear some of this land with the chainsaw. Get some uh, fuel coming in. Maybe set up a little automated production line for um, creating biomass, uh, biofuel rather. So if I rush, <laughs> rush over, uh, we should have enough on us to actually do this right away. So 500 screws, 100 cable, 100. Oh, we don't have enough concrete, but that's not a problem. Out of the way, bird. Just, um, might as well fill up. And we will go and fire this off. There we go. There is the big red button. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. 
To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Well, that's very nice of them. Okay, what do I need for all of this? Uh, metal plates and concrete. Um, copper wire and iron rods. Reinforced iron plates. Okay, I'm going to need to make some reinforced iron plates, which means I'm going to need to make yeah need to make a bunch of screws. So I will get to that and I will return when I've done it. Right here is our uh, copper node. It is pure. So let's have a look. Probably going to want yeah, and lock it to the main grid. Okay, and let's see where the miner needs to go. Right there, that's fine. Okay. Yep, in it goes. Right. So this is producing 120 a minute. So again, we're going to need to split this down into uh, four smelters. So we're going to need to clear this ground. Which means... Oops, wrong button. It means we're going to have to chainsaw some stuff. Yeah, that's what we like. Get all of this out of the way. And all of this. Um... That's probably enough to start with, but we'll get rid of this just in case. Okay, oh, put that away. Thank you. Right, now. So we're going to need to come out into a splitter, which comes out into two splitters. I think. Yes, that's right. So, splitter to bring it where are we? There. Oh, give it plenty of space. We want it central, but we'll give it plenty of space to uh, hook in. There we go. So that will break it down into two 60s, and then we want to break it down further. Hmm, can we bring that back? No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So... If we put one there, are we going to have enough room? Hopefully. So one there. And one there. Hmm. Yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Don't complicate this, John. Okay. Oh, no. There. And there. Now we want smelters. So how much space do we... don't need much space. So we'll bring them forward. And that gives us some space at the back. That was wrong. That's all the wrong way round, isn't it? Why didn't somebody tell me? Come on, you're supposed to be helping me out here. There we go. Uh, and we're going to bring them forward to... There. And central. Like that. There we go. Um, you come into there, and into there. Yeah, I didn't do this right, did I? Um, okay. It's going to be a little bit messy, never mind. Never mind. Ok, 
Come on. Line up. There we go. At least we're neat on this side. Right, and you are making copper ingots. And we are undoubtedly going to need more power for this. Whoops. So, let's have a look. 120, 60, 60, 30, 30. That's all good. Right. Now, what's the sensible way of doing this? The sensible way of doing this is probably building a second level, isn't it? Like we did before. Yes. So, we want... Uh, Alright, there we are. A merger there. And a merger there. We can at least connect this up neatly. Come on. There we go. Yep, that's all fine. And then this needs to come together into another merger. Uh, and we'll put it here. I think. Um, yes, we'll put it here. Is that central? That's not central. That is central. That'll do. And we'll put that down there and we will... Uh, connect you up like so, and connect you up like so, and then, whoops, we will come out into, um, yeah, this is going to need to be a Mark II. We'll put in walls first. I think we need to be three high. There we go. Like so. Oops. And are you central? That's about central. Um, that's probably about right. And then we want a Mark II belt feeding into there. Okay, so. Yes. That's the start of it. Right. Power. How are we going to bring power in? Or where are we going to bring power in? This seems like a good spot, so we'll start there. Uh, and then we will... Bring one across... Oh, that's unfortunate. Never mind. Uh, to there. Uh, you can connect directly up to the miner. Um, and we'll bring you across to here. And across the here. Connect up. Connect up. Connect up and connect up. Right, now we need to bring the power back along here. Uh, and where can I connect up? Oops, never mind. There we go. So that should now all be running. Yep, it started. Now, getting up there. Come on. Oops, pressing all the wrong buttons again. Good job nobody comes here for competency. There we go. Right. Now. Constructors, etc. How much space do we have here? Okay, that's not too bad. We can only go two back really on this side, so we need to figure out the maths. Thank you, Autosave. Right, and you're going to be making 
wire. You need 15 ingots a minute, so we're going to need to split this as we did over here. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, out into a splitter first of all. And we want you lined up there, but minimal space. Um, so we'll put you there. So that's going to split it down into 60 and 60. So we want another splitter. Here. And then out into another splitter there. That's going to have to move. Um, yeah. So, a little bit untidy, but at least it will be symmetrical. Right, so, 60. We need to split that down again. Again, sorry, trying to do maths in my head. It's not good. Um, yes, so sixty coming in here. We want thirty coming out into a lift. Um, but we don't know how high it's got to be, so we'll put in some walls. Okay, like so. Um, so, Mark 1 conveyor, that's fine. Um, no idea where middle is, that will do. Which way are you facing? That's the way we want you to face. And I think that's about the right height. Okay, so. 30 there, and we need to come out into another splitter. Which can go there. And that needs to come out into two constructors. Can we fit two constructors here? And still feed in. Yes. I've given up on neatness for the moment. Right, so this needs to do the same over here. Oops, come on. Up onto there, so... Come on. There we go. Walls. Floor. Mark 1 conveyor. Come on. Come on. There we go. Then into another splitter. Like so. Then we want two more constructors. One there. And one that, that's close, that's not in the right place. There we go. Um, oh no. Yeah. Into there. And you're making wire. Come on. You're making wire. Uh, you're making wire. And you're making that. Right. Now, let me... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let me look at this. Right. 120 coming in. Splitting down into 60. Into 30. Into 15. This does need 15. Yes. 
Okay, so we now have upstairs to do as well, which is going to be basically a similar thing to this. Isn't it? Yes, John. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we need to get up there. Oops. Right. Okay, we're now up here. How much space do we have up here? Okay, about the same. Right. Okay, so out into a splitter, out into a splitter. Um... And these are the only splitters we need up here, isn't it? Because we've got 30 coming up. Splits it into 15. 30 coming up, splits it into 15. So yes, we need to go straight out into um, four constructors. We are going to need some more space. There we go. And it's not going to be neat and tidy, but... You know... Really didn't have anywhere to go with that sentence. It's just not going to be neat and tidy. Oh, you little... Mm-hmm. Need cable. Right, let me go and make some cable. Do I have a... craft bench up here? I don't think I do. I think I dismantled it to fit everything else in. Right. Craft bench. No, I was in the right window. There we go. Um, I'll make some copper ingots. Come on. There we go. And I'll be back when they're done. Okay. Got the parts together. So put in the constructor there. And now we just need to feed straight out. Like so there, and we'll do the twisty feed into there. Now, wire, 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 and wire. There we go. Okay, power. Oops. Nearly fell off. Hmm. Okay, like so. Connect you, connect you, connect you, and connect you, and then we'll take the power from that. Up to, whoops, here, and then across, whoops, I'm having real problems at the moment. There and there, and there, and there. Okay, so... That's a lot of copper wire we're producing. How much is that? That is 30 a minute. So, how... What do you need? You need 60 a minute. Okay. So we can take the feed out of these four... And feed it into two more constructors. And turn that straight into cable. So, um, I think we should do that. So, mergers. We want a merger here. 
that in line. That looks like it's in line. And the merger here. Like so. And into there. Like so. And then we want two more constructors. And we don't really need all that room at all, do we? Come on, let me see what I'm doing. There. And there. Now, is this right? Thirteen, thirty-six, thirty. 30 yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, where can I grab some power? Right there. And you're making cable. Okay, that's working, and that should be a hundred percent. Okay, right, 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 right. That's that's all good. I think we're probably going to want to put some more power on. Yeah, we're right up against our power limit, and that's not with everything running. So, what do I need for biomass burners? I need metal plates. Well, that should be easy enough. That might push us over the power limit and kill our production. Where's our ramp? There we go. Right, we'll chuck in a couple of these uh, biomass burners. Um, and then I think we'll call it for this episode. What I'm going to do between episodes is set up our little automated um, biofuel generator, I think. Uh, bio, yeah. Not generator. Producer. Uh, production line. Which way have we got that? Ooh, they're not the right way around. Never mind. Never mind. Um, ooh, got any space anywhere? Yeah, we can come off of there. Um, let's give ourselves lots of connections. Connect you up there and connect you up there. Right. Um... Let me go and make a bunch of biomass to end the episode. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah, but thanks very much for watching. I think we've done all right this episode. Uh, we've got a lot set up anyway. Uh, we're in a pretty good good place. I think we're going to look at um, some kind of storage starter, at least. Um, just to feed the stuff we are producing in. And I want to uh, set up next episode I want to set up a, a production line for reinforced iron plates because obviously they are um, very useful um, they're, they're the thing we need to be carrying around with us a lot of the time so we will do that thanks very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please do give us a like and a subscribe it really does help the channel out uh, give us a comment down below let me know uh, how you think I've uh, done so far um, if there's anything obvious that I've missed please do let me know because I am very good at missing very obvious things. Uh, and please join us next time. Uh, until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye-bye.